Josh, April 2nd is Women's Equal Pay Day across the country because that's how far into the year the average pay of women reaches what men earned in the previous year. Selena Lewis was at an Equal Pay Day rally where women, their male allies, and local leaders came to advocate for equal pay, for equal work, and she has more now on what they're hoping to accomplish. For a lot of people, it would be simply quitting a second job or going back to school to get a better job or not asking their family to provide child care or even simply taking a vacation. So it really, not having the pay that we deserve really restricts our lives. That's what advocates say closing the wage gap would mean for women who earn about 80 cents on the dollar compared to their white male counterparts. When you look at African American women, you're talking 60 some cents on the dollar. When you're looking at Latina women, you're looking at 64 cents on the dollar. Native American women, Asian women, and so it gets even worse the farther that you break down the numbers. Governor Cuomo's office says New York's average wage gap is less than most states at 88 cents on the dollar. That's not a number, though, that women or their male allies are satisfied with. They're looking for awareness, but more than that, legislative changes to get to that whole dollar. One of those changes, legislation to prevent employers from asking applicants how much they made at their previous job. It's not fair for someone to ask you what you used to make in order to determine what you should be making in the future. Advocates say that for the Rochester community, this issue is important not just to the women who are getting those leaner paychecks. Many of our households are women-led households, um, so you can only imagine that if a woman isn't making her full pay, that it makes the family struggle more. Selena Lewis, News 8.